and that's the shadow side of Leo, you know. Leo, when they're in their shadow side, which I strongly believe Madonna is, I think she has been for a while, and I don't think she will get out of it in this lifetime, unfortunately. But you can see she's very fame hungry, in my opinion, very, um, it's just like, I'm just so disappointed, you know, because I grew up admiring a lot of what Madonna had done, you know, she... Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tarot or welcome to No Light Tarot. My name is Hallie. So grateful to have you all. So if it is your first time, please stick around and watch another video. If you are continuing to watch my videos, please subscribe. If you'd like to join the membership, it's $4.99 a month and you get access to early videos and many different posts. So check that out. Okay, so this was requested by a member. Members get first choice of videos. Um, and it's about Madonna so the member said in the comment section that she felt like Madonna was um, I'm paraphrasing but you can look at it uh, she said kind of like Madonna's basically unraveling and that's not the first time I've heard this so yeah let's check it out let's check out the reading and so forth and so forth okay let's get into it so her astro chart her sun is in Leo, her moon is in Virgo, I can find her rising, but her Venus is in Taurus, and I'm looking at her Venus because I feel like she's had quite a bit of, <coughs> excuse me, I have, okay, so I've moved to Florida almost exactly a year ago from when I'm recording this, um, on the 15th of December, <laughs> and I, um, the weather change from moving from dry weather to LA, from LA to here, which was dry weather, is so like, it's a lot for my congestion gland. So when the weather changes here, I get like stuff going on. So excuse me if I cough and so forth. During the reading, I am working on, um, I'm working on it. So. The reason I pulled up her Venus is that I feel like she's had a lot of public um, relationships. Uh, she was married. <sighs> we most know her being married to... Uh, was she married to Sean Penn? Please write in the comment section. I feel like she might have been. I know she was with Sean Penn. Just don't know if they got married. I also know she was with... Um, what's that guy's name? The British guy. OMG. What's that British guy's name? Some... It's a, it's a, I should know this because he lived in London when I did. I really, really should know this. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so she was married to that um, British director guy. Oh, Guy something. Guy. Because I like the name Guy. So that's why. Didn't he direct Fight Club too? Anyways, she was married to him for quite some time. And then she d developed that British accent type. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People were laughing at her. So... It's very interesting that her Venus is in Taurus because it can give us like a sneak peek into her love life. And why I feel, I mean, okay, we'll get into it. <laughs> so her past, <coughs> her, uh, I get perspective, which is the Virgo card, seven of pentacles and eight of swords. So I see very strongly here, especially with seven of pentacles. She is a very hard-working person. Very, very hard-working. You can see that. But I feel like she would do anything to get on top. Like, literally anything. Not in the bad sense. Well, maybe in the bad sense. Depends where your moral compass stands. <laughs> um, but I get the sense she does have a skewed moral compass because I see her literally stepping over people. Now that I say that, I remember I remember Michael Jackson said he used to hang out with her. He did this interview. I don't know about you guys, but I love, love, love Michael Jackson. And when I say love, I mean I have an admiration for his art. Um, I don't believe the allegations against him. 
I never did and it turns out I not I was right but that they were disclaimed and thank god because I never never believed it and people always come after me people start talking to me and there was <laughs> I just knew it was I defended him I mean I looked at both sides obviously but the documentary just seemed it wasn't really a documentary and I don't even want to give it light because it's not worth it and long story short Madonna Michael Jackson Madonna used to hang out and Michael Jackson because I used to watch I've watched like almost every interview he's done <laughs> on MTV they used to have this day his birthday on the 29th of August they would do um, Michael Jackson Day and the Home was on day too, which I liked too. But I was obsessed with Thriller, obsessed with. I'm just. I'm getting goosebumps because I'm obsessed with how talented he was. And obviously, he was troubled, you know, as we all are. Um, but I don't think he had bad intentions. So he was doing this interview, and um, he just. Somebody asked him about his relationship with Madonna. And he said that he felt like Madonna was very um, manipulative, very jealous, and that's the shadow side of Leo, you know. Leo, when they're in their shadow side, which I strongly believe Madonna is, I think she has been for a while, and I don't think she will get out of it in this lifetime, unfortunately. But you can see she's very fame hungry, in my opinion, very... Um, it's just like I'm just so disappointed you know because I grew up admiring a lot of what Madonna had done you know she she broke a lot of societal boundaries you know like a prayer I loved uh, what it feels like for a girl I loved I mean like a prayer I think came out when I was born actually so even when I was young I still carried on her music still carried on and I think she pushes the boundaries too much and she does it for the wrong reasons that's why I wouldn't be surprised if she stepped on somebody to get where she is so with the present being eight of pentacles star seed and three of pentacles so I see what I'm showing you here I got this energy that she kind of wants to stay relevant which is normal but you know what I was thinking you know my friend and I were talking about Tina Turner the other day and how she is okay. I wonder what Tina Turner's um, star sun sign is, rather. Because she's okay with not being in the public light anymore. And I think that's what should naturally come with age, you know? She's, I'm watching an interview um, of Oprah and Tina Turner. And Tina Turner saying, you know, I had to perform because... <coughs> excuse me, monetarily I had to, but... I didn't want to anymore and it just shows you the difference of like class <laughs> versus do anything I can to stay relevant and I see her using starseed young people's energy like kind of latching her energy onto youthful energy to stay relevant and I think that's very sad so with the future being knight of pentacles ace of cups and six of wands okay so like I said maybe I should do a love reading um, specifically love reading one day about her I see that she gets into a predicament where she's in relationships because she wants to be number one and that's a lot of Leo's that I know that I've known um, that I've encountered not all the time but sometimes can be led down this path of I need to be better than my partner so they end up in a power couple dynamic but they are so threatened by the other person that they end up like one-upping that person and I think that is her relationship trend is that she can never take a backseat J-Lo <laughs> another son and Leo Demi Lovato another son and Leo Meghan Markle, another son, another son Leo. Actually, Leo's my favorite sign. I'm just talking about the shadow side, and everybody has a shadow side. I mean, if I had a favorite sign, it'd be Leo. So the bottom of the deck, nine of wands, it's almost, and I see her moon and Virgo is very calculating about who she's with, who she's around. Um, if it were up to her, 
in my opinion, she would only have um, transactional relationships. And can I tell you something? Okay, so I used to live in LA. And towards the end, I was actually depressed living there. And a lot of, um, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of, um, the reason why I felt depressed is number one, because of what was going on with the sea, the beer bug, <laughs> as they say. But also, I just felt as though I was surrounded by a lot of people that just wanted to use me, you know. And after leaving LA, you know how they say people in LA are fake? And I didn't want to say they were fake, you know. You know, you don't, especially as an Aquarius, the rebel side of me wants to give everybody a chance and wants to kind of like see the other side all the time. So I've had trouble. And I didn't want to face the fact that I was surrounded by a lot of fake people. And when I left, I realized that I only really kept three good friends from LA. But in New York, I, well, obviously, granted, I lived there for a longer time. But in New York, I had way more friends. I kept, I've kept in contact with way more friends. Even in Miami, I've developed solid friendships where I live. I've developed solid friendships already. So... I felt like I couldn't really trust anybody and the reason why is because of stuff like this is that there are lots of people that just want to be seen with you that just want to use you that will backstab you any chance they get to become famous that's why I never really told anybody I told like two people about the relationship I was in with someone with two people that well one of them I spoke about after but I was involved with two famous people, but I never said anything because I didn't want people knowing or people having the chance to backstab me. And it sounds a bit messed up, but if you've ever lived in LA and you're in that culture, you'll get what I'm saying. Is that it's, around, it's not necessarily fake, it's just people that are out for themselves and they'll do anything to make their dream happen. So. As I clarified the transactional relationships, I got five of pentacles, serenity, and six of swords. So I see here that she has like a manager that she's had for quite some time. And they have a bond. They're very similar to one another. Um, I'm, what's up with people having romantic relationships? The lovers and the queen of wands. Having rom romantic relationships with the managers. There is a secret about this manager that I don't reveal because I have a policy that I don't out people. And secondly, uh, I don't um, I don't like to reveal something that is about people's sexual preferences or pregnancy. So there is a secret regarding that around this kind of situation, but it will be revealed. It will be revealed very soon. So that's what I have for you all. And I love you all. Please comment. I would love to hear what you say. Take care.